and welcome to the uh, next build I'm doing uh, for uh, e-models and uh, you can probably tell from the title what we're doing but this is what we're doing we're doing the new uh, Grumman's F6 F5 Hellcat uh, it's uh, FX FX's brand new 124 scale model and as you can see the camera's as high as I can get it above the desk and you can only see the picture so what we'll do is I'll just pause here for a sec and then we'll have a, a look at what's in the box because I haven't even opened the box yet it's uh, literally arrived probably about half an hour ago and I've just got a chance to uh, unpack it so we'll uh, have a look through and uh, see what we can uh, we can find okay won't be a sec okay so we'll uh, open up and see what, what we can see So, first off, we have lots and lots of individual bags. Um, if this is anything like the uh, Typhoon build, that'll be the uh, cockpit cover. Can't think of the word there. Let's see if we can find some destructions. Down the bottom, we have instructions. So, let's have a look at what it's in here. Tell you what, I'll pause it so I'm going to be rattling bags and you won't be able to hear anything. Might be a sec. Okay, so I've moved the uh, box out of the way and uh, we're a bit more sorted out. So, what do we get in the uh, instructions bag? Well, we get a book of instructions so it's like the uh, tornado build I'm going on the back of here internal decal decals on there so we'll have a look through so I'm instruction book I have position now of stencils unlike a modern jet where it basically has stencils on every single piece there are uh, quite a few. On there. Do you want to put a bit of the light on? Here we go, that's better. So, anyway, we have uh, a stencil sheet. On there, we have. for the various options so we've got uh, Indochina War 1953 we have one from H&F uh, March April 45 that's got a camouflage pattern USS Randolph version from May 45, much the blue with the white uh, tail. Uh, the one on the front of the box, which from HMS uh, Prince Town, uh, October 44. So this is one of the, uh, gotta call it a sharp mouth really, but uh, it's a sharp mouth on there. Which I think is the version I'm going to do. I mean, wouldn't want to do anything with a sharp mouth. And there we have a slightly bent decal sheet. So it's split up in uh, different types. We've got the uh, common stencils at the top, so where your dials are, probably internal ones, a few stencils on there, and then you've got various. sheets on there. So we will pop that back in its bag when I can find it. So let's have a look at this uh, 
instruction book. So it starts off with wings unfolded under carriage up, wings unfolded under carriage down, and wings folded under carriage down. So just off screen there. So, when do the instructions start? So, various uh, options. You can either have it uh, the part of the engine showing, a lot of the engine at the front showing, the canopy is uh, on there, and you can fit the uh, engine with the motor so the uh, propeller goes around. I won't be doing that. So, we are with part one. So this is building up the uh, cockpit area. So uh, there's out the uh, where the airfix uh, uh, works. The red parts and the next part show where the first part should have gone. So you got an idea where you're positioning things in the right place. On here and work through, and this shows how it fits into the uh, the body. Diesels, you've got uh, seat belts, harness in there, seat belts. And then you start working on the inside of the uh, cockpit part and build it up. And uh, for the internal frames in there. Malfunction with the destruction mark. It doesn't fall down, does it? No, it won't fall down. So, anyway, I'll have to uh, sort out the top of my sheet. So, as I say, it's all, all very detailed. It's found a bit with the engine, I like the engine bits. It's all engine bits. A bit at uh, right about. So, if you wish to add uh, ignition leads to the engine, it's recommended uh, 0.7 mil copper wire to follow. The, use the following diagram. So, different lengths, different colours, and show where everything goes. My intention is to do this. So, we'll uh, have to sort some of this copper wire, and then we'll uh, work, on, work out what we do. That looks nice in there. Technical, doesn't it? But I think it would make it look better because my intention is to have the engine showing. So, where's the engine start? Well, the engine starts part 150 and goes on till. to go together but it looks like you can make the engine as a sub-assembly so I could start with that if I wanted to um, I haven't decided yet what I would go with and we end up with the very last bits which is part uh, 310 which is basically fitting part of the folding wing portion so there's an option to have the wings folded or unfolded Looks like I can have one folded, one on one straight. Uh, which again, I think is what I'm going to be doing. But we'll have a, have a look through and see what uh, what we can find. And then on the back we've got, as I said, the uh, internal. So you can also the uh, extraction um, instrument panel. Uh, got a map on there. Uh, part of that goes, I think, goes around the back of the uh, seat and other various instrument parts. Around the side, 
bottom of the seat and at the back of the pilot. Okay, so that is a uh, seriously thick instruction book. So what we'll do, we'll uh, decide what we're going to start on and then we'll get another video up uh, in a little bit. Uh, but let's, uh, we'll just use this as a, an introduction to uh, the next build, to this uh, new build I'm doing. So four remodels, um, doing the 124 Grumman F6F5 Hellcat, uh, which is their fixed new um, 124 scale kit. So uh, I'll see you when I've uh, started building things. Um, well, so I thought I'd like to get this up uh, soon, so you know what uh, what's coming. So pop along to uh, eModels, um, brilliant website, brilliant bunch of guys. Um, if uh, as the thing goes, if you you can't find it on their website, you don't need it. Um, if you can't find anything on there, well, it's always a good idea to uh, email and they'll see where they can get it, um, or point you in a, an alternative direction. But uh, thanks for watching this introduction, and I'll be back as soon as with a bit more of the uh, Hellcat. See you in the next part. <laughs>